Welcome everybody. This is week 34 of the school year. What I'm going to have you do this week. I got something kind of special for you this week. Uh, I really want you to uh, go back, make sure you're up to date on everything. I know some of you need to work a little bit more on the project from last week. Some of them are kind of pump the brakes a little bit. Um, I'm only going to have you do uh, the warm up this week. Um, watch the video, turn in the warm up. I have a survey for you. I'm going to have you do a weekly survey. Um, so finish that survey by, say, Thursday would be good. And then work on any previous unfinished work. Okay. Uh, you know, go back. I've, I've given you a lot of stuff, and I'm just thinking I need to pull back a little bit, give you a little more time, catch your breath. And we still will do Google, Google Meet. Um, I got some new games to roll out for you and play with you during those. Uh, it'll be at 3 o'clock Tuesday and Thursday. So I really hope to see you then. Um, and let's get on with the question. So I want you to really check out this diagram. I want you to tell me the next DNA letters that will be added. Uh, there's four more bases that need to be actually five. Five. So scratch that for five more bases that need to be added. Tell me what those will be. And there's two two sets of strands that need to be added. So go ahead and pause the video, and then come on back after you've uh, you've you've spent you know a good amount of time figuring that out and writing that into your paper. All right. I'll see you in a couple minutes. All right. Welcome back, everybody. So what I want you to see. In DNA, you'll always see this pattern, T with A, and I guess it only T's and A's here. Oh, up here you can see the other pattern, and that's a G with C. So, for example, this strand here, it's already kind of been started for you. It shows you a G, a G, this C will be a G. Oh, man, that's happening again. Oh, please don't do that. <laughs> this A will be a T. You will match up a C with that G. So the first strand will be a G, G, T, and then a C. G, G, T, C. G, 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 G. G. Oh, I, I forgot a G. Sorry about that. So that will be one strand of DNA right there. Now we've got to have the other strand because, remember, this is the original. It's been split. And then we're making this, this purple is the new. Um, this other one, we're going to be adding a C, then a C, then another C, then an A, then a G. So the other sound will be C, 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 A, G. So these are your two strands you should have uh, hopefully figured out. And you'll see they're opposite of each other. They're basically complementary strands. Why don't you write that down? Type that in. They're complementary strands. Um, and this is how DNA is replicated. So be sure. So uh, a lot of you have been really good about when you have a question, sending it to me on Outlook or you know, I'm email through the classroom. Hopefully, I've gotten back to you in a decent amount of time. It's been clear. Don't hesitate to send me those uh, emails, though. Um, I'm here to help. So hope you stay safe, stay healthy, and um, enjoy your week. Bye, everybody.